welcome everybody to Palazzo delle Papesse in the heart of Siena, one of the most beautiful towns in Tuscany, where we're very proud as the Dali universe to have this exhibition, Dali Siena. The significance of this building, this historic um, palazzo, is something that our honored guest this evening will talk to us a little bit about, because we're very lucky this evening to have Alessandro Marchini, who is the director of Siena Observatory. And we're also very lucky to have none other than the, the person who commissioned this painting, this homage to Siena. The Medici symbol, which we see here, is redolent in the city of Siena. And we're very proud to unveil this painting today, which will now welcome visitors as they come in to visit the Salvador Dali exhibition. Christopher has a love affair with Salvador Dali and a love affair with surrealism. He manages exhibitions in Australia for the Dali universe, and it has been his passion and his desire to bring together two artists, Salvador Dali, the great master of surrealism, and Charles Billich, a contemporary surrealist artist and probably the leading artist right now in Australia. So we're very lucky to have with us a painting that was uh, from this year, 2022, recently completed. And Christopher is now ready to tell us a little bit about the painting. Thank you, James. Um, I'd like to thank the Dali Universe for having the privilege of being able to exhibit Siena Galactica in this magnificent palazzo. Charles Billage sends his regards and his apologies that he's not able to be here at 88 years of age and having just recovered from a very long bout of, of um, COVID. First of all, I'd like to just explain a little bit about who Charles Billich is, who in my opinion is one of the most important living artists in the world. At 88 years of age, he has artworks that have been in the collections of the Vatican, the United Nations, the White House. He was twice USA Sports Academy Artist of the Year. He was a recipient of the 2009 Florence Benali and the list of his accomplishments are way too long to certainly mention this evening. As James said, I have had a passion with Salvador Dali for most of my life, and I've represented Charles Billich for some 20 years as a curator and as an art dealer, and now as an exhibitor of the Dali exhibition in Australia. I went to Charles and I said, look, they've done something quite remarkable in Siena, and I think that we might be able to do something that will complement what the exhibition is all about. So we sat down and I said, the common thread that ties everything together is that they're all men of science. We have a number of people here in the corner, starting with Dali, of course. We have Pope Urban, we have Cosimo Medici, we have Newton, we have Copernicus, and we have Galileo. And all of these people being men of science and all of the focus is on Siena. So I said to Charles, I said, look, let's really push the envelope in terms of how we present the, present the artwork. And he came up with the idea of the flat earth. And you can see there's a little bit of movement around the edges of the earth. Of course, the earth is not a stationary object, but Siena is flat. It's not moving, we're all standing here. And he's highlighted most of the important buildings in, in Siena. And if you see in the corner here, we have Dali's homage to Newton, and it's taken a direct line to this palazzo, which I think is rather rather fabulous. The other thing that, that, I, that I suggested was in, in quantum physics, um, and certainly with the theory of relativity and all these scientific ideas, time is a human construct. It's not actually real. So what I suggested was to put the clock in reverse. We put time in reverse, just to get people thinking about that one idea. And the idea of having um, all of these people of science 
in the corner and as, as celestial beings. And they're basically gotten together having a bit of a bit of a talk about the whole thing. We think it's a rather fabulous painting. It's certainly something I'm very proud of and particularly excited about the fact that it's now being exhibited right here alongside Dali, which is a very prestigious and very honourable thing for Charles. So I'd like to thank you all very much. I'd like to hand over to, to uh, James again. Thank you, Christopher, for his explanation of the history, the genesis of this painting. So from a nice art historical point of view to now a more scientific, mathematical, cosmological view from none other than the director of the Siena Observatory and also professor of uh, astrophysics at the University of Siena. Professore, Professor Alessandro Alexander Marchini. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am very honored. I always joke, uh, I always joke with uh, Ferruccio Carminati, uh, telling him that uh, I I'm not an expert in art, in paintings, but uh, when he, he showed me a couple of days ago uh, this, uh, this, a, a little picture of this painting, I was astonished because it's amazing. There is science, there is my town, I, am, I was born in Siena, and many, many symbols, all linked. I think that uh, it's very powerful we can, we can see six persons very important for science. The Pope too, because he helped Galileo Galilei a lot. We can see the homage to Newton from Dali with a line of light crossing our town, arriving here in Palazzo delle Papesse, very important historical being in, in, in uh, uh, this town. Every important building of Siena is inside this sphere. I don't see a flat Siena. I see a, something like a black hole with all orbiting around. And I think that uh, it's a very incredible view of uh, of an artist of our, of, of our town. But uh, uh, this building where this painting uh, from village is guest uh, is important because uh, four centuries ago we had Galileo Galilei walking in these floors and walking through the steps, the stairs of this building. And I am very excited uh, every time I, I am here for this reason, because I love science. And in this painting, we have Galileo with, his, with the first telescope watching to the stars, to the constellations. We have the colors of the ground of Siena, surrounded by the dark blue of the universe. I think that it's very emotional. And every symbol is important. The telescope, the first telescope, when Galileo was here in uh, uh, 1633, uh, uh, he, he was uh, with the Archbishop of Siena, Ascanio Piccolomini, and Ascanio asked him to, to have uh, his telescope here uh, on the last floor of the Altana, the Palazzo delle Papesse, uh, my ancient colleague, uh, a professor at, uh, at the University of Siena, Teofilo Gallacini, watched, observed the moon with a telescope of Galileo Galilei. And uh, I uh, could see that pictures from uh, uh, four centuries ago. And uh, I was uh, very uh, hit by, by such, a, such a things. But these paintings with many symbols of science and of culture is very important. I think that uh, here we have, oh, last thing, we have, as Christopher said before, we have the time 
walking counterclockwise. Time is relative. If you go close to uh, a black hole, don't do it at home. If you go close to a, a black hole, the time is very slow. Albert Einstein discovered this, this thing. And maybe if you want to join science and culture and history, we have to forgot to, to forget the, our idea of the time. I think that uh, in, inside this painting, that is a, a truly masterpiece, thank you very much. Thank you, Professore Marchini. I'll give the last word now to Christopher Talbot. He would like to say thank you to everybody. Ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, I'd like to conclude the exhibition for this evening and invite you to some hors d'oeuvres and some cocktails. Thank you for coming.